we're going to transition into the TTP practice. And uh, one thing I want to say is the tools we use really work. They really work. Like we see that from our own experience. Um, and also, I just want to share there's an exciting research paper that David Feinstein, um, husband of Donna Eden, is about to publish. It's coming out, kind of bringing together all these different studies of energy medicine practices being used in disaster and crisis zones worldwide and, and collating their effects and their benefits. So um, our practices really work and they're, they're here for you and they're here for you to draw on. And not only do they benefit you, but they benefit our entire world. So just by engaging in your practices, you are bringing about um, the welfare and the benefit and happiness of others. So we're going to do the um, TTT, the trauma tapping technique sequence. It's similar to EFT, which many of you are quite familiar with. Some of you might be new to, um, and we're all going to learn it together. So it's a little bit different than EFT, but you'll, you'll, um, recognize it. So just taking a moment um, before we begin, just kind of lightly check in with anything that's bringing you distress at this moment. Just bring your awareness to it lightly. It could be something we've talked about. It could be something else. And just check in on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most intense I've ever felt, one being, oh, it's barely here at all. And just hold up your fingers to show where you are on that number, just so we can get a sense of the group. Okay. Great. Okay. See your fingers. And um, I'm just going to take a moment to check in for me. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to begin on the side of the hand, just like we do for EFT. We're going to tap firmly. You can just have your awareness slightly resting on what you just connected with and also just feeling the sensation of the tapping. Then we're going to come up to the forehead with our fingers on our temples and do a variation of the Eden Energy Medicine crown pull. And so you're just going to come in towards the center and pull back to the sides. You can really find the way that feels good for you, whether it's really gentle and light or whether it's vigorous. And the reason for this part of the practice is we're just bringing energy and blood flow to our prefrontal cortex, because when we get stressed, it moves to the back of the brain. And so we're just bringing it forward. Just doing that a little bit. And then coming to the beginning of the eyebrow points, and in the TTT, they use three fingers for the tapping. So you can just experiment and see how that feels to use three fingers. I've been experimenting with it just for fun as a change, because normally I use two. You're just tapping, letting your awareness rest gently on the place that's concerning for you. Then just smooth your eyebrows a little bit. So just bringing your hands back over your eyebrows, smoothing them out. And the next time landing on the sides of your temples, just like we do in EFT only, you just have those three fingers. So you're actually coming further back. So the side of the eye and all the way back to your temples. Tapping here. And then we're gonna come to the next point. And one thing that's different about TTT, which you can experiment with, is you slide down. So we're sliding down to the cheekbones as opposed to an EFT, we just come here. So see how that feels. And then tapping on the cheekbones with your three fingers. And if anyone here is unfamiliar with EFT, then you can ignore everything I'm saying about EFT. I'm just weaving it in for many in the circle who that's a practice for. And then you're going to release one hand and take the other one and just slide it down under the nose. 
And again, tapping with those three fingers. And just breathing, letting your awareness stay lightly with whatever was troubling you. And then sliding down and around to the chin. And then next points, we begin tapping all around the chest. So it's different from EFT where we have those specific points and we're tapping just the entire chest area. Hmm. This is so, there's a lot happening in our chest. So by doing this, we're able to get the kidneys, which we do and typically in EFT. We get our immune system by coming in through the thymus. We open up the lung points, we get the lymphatics moving and draining. And just letting your awareness lightly rest. Whatever was troubling you when we started. Next, we'll just come to the spleen point. And if it's comfortable for your body, we'll do it this way by crossing one hand over onto the shoulder and the other one tapping on the side just for your cross strap would be if you wear one. Next, we're going to come and do the fingers. And just to warn all the EFT tappers, we're going to go in the opposite direction. We're going to start at the pinky. And there's nothing special happening with the ring finger. They're all the same. So just letting you know. And again, let's just give it a try with three fingers or two if you normally do one, just to feel the difference. So we're starting at the pinky, tapping on this top edge of the pinky. Doesn't matter which hand. And then coming up to the ring finger. And also you can experiment with stacking your fingers, which I don't ever do with EFT. It's something they give you the invitation for with TFT. And then you're feeling the vibrations more. So just see if you like that or if you don't like that. It's just experimenting. And just to say, coming up to the middle finger, there's no wrong way to do this. So it's like we're just exploring another way. And we always adapt to what works well for us and what we like. Um, this isn't a prescription, it's an invitation to dance with this way of practicing and coming to the index finger. And coming to your thumb. And then we come back to the chest tapping all around the chest. And then just relax your hands in your lap in any way that's comfortable. And we're just going to breathe in through the nose. Hold our breath just a little bit, not forcing, and then breathe out through the mouth. And then again, breathing in through your nose. Holding the breath for just a couple of seconds, and then breathing out through your mouth. And just closing your eyes, releasing the practice. <laughs> 